Hi everyone, welcome back to our Data Impulse channel. In this video, we'll discuss why it's important to disable WebRTC to protect your privacy and explore pros and cons. Imagine catching up with a friend on a video call where it feels like you're face to face. This is all possible thanks to WebRTC or Web Real-Time Communications. It is an open source technology for real-time voice, text, and video communication between browsers without additional software using JavaScript's APIs. It's the foundation for platforms like Google Meet. So how does it work? A browser generates and exchanges SDP packets with other participants via a signaling server, while stunned servers handle IP address translation for peer connections through NAT firewalls. Sounds simple, right? But let's dive deeper. When your browser is using WebRTC and you visit a site that uses it, your real IP address is exposed, which is known as a leak. WebRTC bypasses network settings by establishing direct connections and exchanging both external and local IP addresses for audio and video calls. So let's prevent a WebRTC leak and disable this feature in your browser. If you're using Google Chrome, go to the extension section, then open Chrome Web Store. Enter WebRTC control in the search bar. Install and click Add to Chrome. Click the extension icon in Chrome when it's on, the icon will appear blue. When it's off, it will be gray. If you're using Opera, the process is pretty similar. Go to the Opera add-on store. Find an extension WebRTC Control and click Add to Opera. Then you'll see a blue or gray extension icon on the top right corner. You can also try Test WebRTC Leak. Just click on this option in the menu and you'll be redirected to another page with the results of the test. For Safari browser, select Preferences from the drop-down menu and click on the Advanced tab. Check the box Show Develop Menu and Menu Bar. Click on Develop in the Menu Bar, go to WebRTC and disable Enable Legacy WebRTC API. And finally, Firefox browser. Type About Config in the address bar, then press Enter. Click Accept the Risk and Continue to proceed. In the search bar, type media.peerconnection.enabled and make sure to change its value from true to false. And that's it. On the plus side, WebRTC is free and it simplifies integration and supports many browsers. However, it can overload bandwidth, pose security risks, and result in unstable quality due to undefined standards. Manage its settings carefully to protect your privacy and use proxies to secure your IP address. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay in touch with Data Impulse.